Welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you a few methods you can try that will hopefully fix any microphone issues you are having in the new Call of Duty Cold War. If people can't hear you on your microphone, or your microphone just isn't being detected, then with a bit of luck, one of these methods will fix that problem. And the first thing we want to do is just make sure the microphone is plugged in correctly. So go ahead and unplug your microphone and just plug it back in again. If you are using a microphone that is USB, then go ahead and plug it into a different USB slot. If that didn't resolve the issue you're having, then the next thing you want to do, this doesn't count for all microphones, not all of them have this option, but a lot of microphones now come with a little control pad on the cable. Just make sure you do have a green light and it's not muted. If you do have a green light showing and everything looks good, then the next thing we want to do is on Windows, go down to the bottom right hand corner to the speaker icon, and just right click. You now need to click on open sound settings. You will now have a window that looks like this. Under input you now need to make sure the correct microphone is selected for your PC. As you can see my microphone is selected and that is the correct microphone. If yours is the correct microphone then the next thing we want to do is click on troubleshoot. You now need to select your microphone from the list below and press next. And basically Troubleshooter will now detect if there are any issues with your microphone. And as you can see, it couldn't identify any problems with my microphone. Which is good news because my microphone is actually working, as you can tell right now. We can now go ahead and press close to Troubleshooter and the next thing we need to do is click on device properties under the input. You will then have a window that looks like this. You need to make sure disable is not ticked and you also need to make sure the volume is turned all the way up to 100. Once you have done this go ahead and click start test and see if you can hear yourself talking. If you can then the next thing we want to do is close down this window and open up the device manager. To do this all you need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in device and click on device manager. You now need to find your microphone in the list below. Normally it will be under sound but if your microphone isn't here then go ahead and try and find it somewhere else in the list. As you can see mine is under Realtek R audio. All I now need to do is right click and go onto properties and we now want to go onto driver and click on update driver. You now need to click on search automatically for drivers and as you can see I do have the latest driver installed. But if it did find a newer driver for your microphone then it will automatically install it and then see if that resolved the issue you're having. If that didn't fix the problem you're having then the next thing we want to do is close down this window and you now want to go ahead and click uninstall device and you want to go uninstall. And once you have uninstalled the microphone, you then want to unplug it from your computer and plug it back in again. And then Windows will automatically install the driver again. And this will rule out any driver issues. I'm not going to uninstall mine because that will mess up this video, but go ahead and click on uninstall. Once you have finished doing all that, and if it's still not working, then we now need to boot up Call of Duty Cold War. I'm going to go ahead and launch my game now. Once you have opened Call of Duty Cold War, you now need to open the settings in the bottom left hand corner or press F3 on your keyboard. We now need to go across to audio at the top and you now need to scroll all the way down to voice chat. And as you can see, my voice chat is enabled. You need to make sure your voice chat is enabled, otherwise you will not be able to talk to people. And you now need to scroll down a little bit more and you now need to just make sure game chat is on. And we also want to go down to voice chat volume and you can turn this up if you want or leave it on one. That is up to you. 
but the main thing we want to focus on is the microphone device. You need to make sure your microphone is selected from the list below. Don't use system device default, actually select your microphone. You can now go ahead and choose if you want to do push to talk or automatic open mic. I'm leaving mine on push to talk which means I have to press the letter V for people to be able to hear me. Once you have decided on which option you want to use, you now need to go down to microphone volume and you need to make sure this is set to number one. Once you have done this, go ahead and test your microphone on the right hand side window here. If you can hear yourself on the microphone test, then that's good. You have resolved the problem. If you can't hear yourself, then go ahead and turn the microphone volume up and then test your microphone again. If you still cannot hear yourself, then the only thing that I can recommend you try is use a different microphone if you do have one available and see if you still have the same issue. If you do, then you know it's your computer. If you don't have another microphone, but you do have access to another PC or laptop, go ahead and test your microphone on that device and see if it works. That is pretty much it when it comes to fixing microphone issues in Windows for Call of Duty. I hope this tutorial did help you. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.